What's that? So we... You idiot. What are you doing out here? You can't keep running away, skipping classes and doing dangerous stuff. Oh, I suppose you know this foolish druid. Did you know he was manhandling our leafy Madeline? No, it's not okay. Druids are a bad influence on your witchcraft. We will talk about this later. You sisters don't look much alike. And you don't look too bright. Maybe appearances can be deceiving? We've got to leave soon. It's almost dark. Zoe says she saw a ghost already. I really hate them. Why so angry about a supernatural curfew? Maybe the gods also don't like to share the trees. Easy for you to say that, druid boy. How can Zoe and I observe lunar cycles and celebrate in the moonlight with Madeleine here, when the woods are off limits at night? You nature bunnies tend to frolic about in the daytime, so it doesn't affect you much at all. Sorry, don't know much about druid ritual. There hasn't been one since I joined six weeks ago. Lunasar will be my first service next week. Are the druid liturgies much different from yours? Like I just said, the difference between Wiccans and Druids is night and day to those who've been to a few rites. Imagine trying to explain to a Hindu the difference between an Anglican and a Baptist. As far as they were concerned, both are strange monotheists. Just Christians. Even though both practice quite differently, right? Likewise, with your Christian blinders still on, both of our groups probably look equally bizarre. Okay. What about non-ritual differences then? Wicca has as many hundreds of variants as there are hues of Druidism. In general, Druids tend to be polytheistic. But we were focused on one goddess, and sometimes also her consort, one god. You tend to be open to the public and big groups and learn by research. But we are private and meet in small groups, and usually have an apprenticeship. Still seems much alike. Again, on the surface, pretty similar. And many people practice both. But at the end of the day, we know our differences. Both groups found their modern rebirth in the British Isles and flourished on American soil. Thus, they usually only speak English and draw upon the same folklore of England in the Celts, and so mix and share a lot with each other. I have been studying Irish language and folklore with Craig. I feel sorry for you. I hate that jerk. He's the snootiest of all the snooty druids I've ever met. He's so wrapped up in the nobility and grandeur of the ancient elite druids, he wouldn't recognize a real god. Even if one bit him on the ass. Well, he is the only one who'll teach me. Yes, I suppose beggars cannot be choosers. So he follows Craig around to classes like a lovesick puppy. That's why both of us are stuck with you ridiculous reformed druids. The only other two decent Wiccans on this campus jumped ship two years ago. Couldn't tolerate the mojo and power of this area. Real magic scared them. Those little sissy wannabes. So now you're going to tell me that magic is real too? I've prayed and pleaded for things all my life, and I haven't gotten anything for it. I've begun to suspect that belief in magic is just like an addicted gambler remembering only their lucky moments and forgetting the vast majority of failures. 
I seem to get better responses when I turn inside and ask for wisdom and enlightenment. Oh, no, you don't. Don't go down that defeatist altruistic path. Honest greed and self-interest is a far more powerful and visceral motivator of magic than fluffy self-improvement. If you want that, you can just go see a psychiatrist. You just haven't been doing it right. You mean because I'm Christian? No. Well, perhaps. It's certainly a handicap. But no, it's not just how you pray or cast spells. It's also a matter of where you are. And that's why I, both of us, won't leave this podunk little town ever. Hey! Reverend Frederick McDermott? Over here. Oh now, Brian, we can be casual here, just Fred. Really? Why do we have to meet in a place like this? I feel like a drug pusher or a deep throat. Sorry, don't want my fool deputy catching wind of this. I also wanted you to see the evidence at this site. Just look on this door. It's a pentagram. Some Satanists or Druids must now be meeting here in town, not just the forest. Brian? That's probably just graffiti from an angry kid. Besides, witches use this symbol. Satanists reverse the symbols of other religions, so they use an upside down star or cross. Druids don't use any of those. Oh, well that may be so, but I don't want any of them around here. Now, I wanted to talk to you about the university troubles. I was just in another confidential meeting with the mayor. It's the finances again, isn't it? That bad, huh? They've been very coy with the faculty, but my colleagues are already dusting off their resumes. Not much of a secret, is it? Recession. 20% unemployment in town, and rising, ever since they closed the old military armory and the paper mill. And now Ipsal and two universities' enrollment is tanking. I know. 4,000 students in 2003? 2,100 this year? Maybe 1,500 next year. These kids used to be half the town's population. Those damn ghosts. Oh, sorry, Reverend. No, ghosts are literally the damned souls. I wish we had a Bigfoot or a Loch Ness monster. They'd at least attract some tourism. Instead for every curious student we attract from the lurid news reports, Another three concerned parents are yanking their kids out, applying to other schools. And the students we do attract, are all too often either apocalyptic Christians, or paranormal enthusiasts, or druids. None of them mix well, and it's hard to keep them at peace in my role as chaplain. They roll quite loony. Druids. Huh? Remember that incident between those two druids in the woods five years ago, what's her name and the boy? Sarah and Alan. Most unfortunate, but it was his own fault. He was also causing trouble with the Bizarite Church and the student council. He wasn't really a druid or a Christian. Frankly, that boy himself really scared me, Brian. His idea of praying to God was just looking in a mirror. He was a law unto himself. Well, he got what was coming to him, and I wish he'd gotten some more of it. I helped expel him myself. Well, it's up to the Canadians to catch Alan at this point. I don't trust these druids. 
they pretend to be nice folk, but you know. Honestly, we didn't have ghosts before we had druids, nor did we have trees wilting left and right. Druids aren't the cause of the blight. I know better. I used to meet with their archdruid Henry, and then archdruidess Jody, twice a year after that incident. Rather fancy titles for some confused kids. Well, I've got nothing else to go on. Unless it's Judgment Day. Like Deputy Bob insists. Is it? Remind Bob, the end times will begin in the Middle East, not the Midwest. What do you want me to do anyway? Spy on them? You know I have ethical considerations, my job. We've got to save this town, and we can't lose this university. And your precious job with it. If it's not the end of the world, it's certainly the end of this town. Come on, Reverend. Maybe we can still turn this thing around. With some help from the big guy upstairs and... And? Just a little more inside advice from you. And some ideas on how to put pressure on the druids. For the greater good. I'm not sure. I didn't want to have to resort to this threat. Help me on this and I'll make sure your secret doesn't reach your church and wife. You wouldn't. Try me. Then I have no choice. Glad to have you on board. Reverend. What's so special about Upper Michigan? We don't know exactly why. But we're sure that this forest is special. Our magic works well here and not elsewhere. It's not 100%. But I can tell it's not a placebo effect. Well, Zoe won't admit it to me. I suspect it has something to do with her running around out here, risking her neck. Could you explain the similarities between druids and Wiccans? Jeez Louise. If you gotta know now, here's the real short version. We both attract the same type of folks, so we are both likely to be smart green, liberal, believe in magic. Interested in arts and crafts, science fiction, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and all the folks who are real gullible and not too bright, tend to become new age crystal huggers. Something you might want to consider. <laughs> no, I'll stick with druidism for now. Well, suit yourself. Druids are a tiny fraction and Wiccans are the vast majority of Neopagans. It's a small club. You'll dabble in witchcraft eventually, most Druids do. Sounds like there's a lot of interesting diversity to explore. Look, it's been fun, but I gotta get Zoe back home before. What? A dozen ghosts are coming. From that direction. Peter, turn off your curiosity, and follow us, now. Zoe knows a shortcut. Hurry. How could you be so selfish? Andrea, be careful, that's our best China. I don't give a damn about China. We're talking about India. How could you accept the job without checking with me? Calm down. What's the big deal? We're going home. No, that's your home. I was born here in America. You immigrated to here. 
This is our family's home. I'm just here to support my relatives. Come on, this land isn't for dissy like us. They will always ask us, even our grandchildren. Which country are you from? Like we just stepped off the plane. That's not home. It won't change. We look different. We are different. Besides the kids need to know their real roots. They know enough already. We take Hindi classes, do Pasha ritual daily, eat Indian food. They spent summers in Pradesh with their grandparents. Hell, I even took those Bollywood dance classes you liked. I know, but this is still a Christian, Western nation, no matter how multicultural they pretend to be. You can't be a real Indian unless you live in India. Immerse yourself and be part of the land of our ancestors. I don't want that. What do you have here? Oh, I suppose you want to stay here with your little druid pagan friends? They just a fad. What can they offer you about real paganism? Their shoddy, startup traditions are nothing to our 5,000 years of culture. Be reasonable. They don't have all the old baggage too. And for your information, there's plenty to learn. But, it's not about them, it's about our children. They're in high school, I'm not going to rip them from everything they've known for their whole life. And because Annika is... What about Annika?